today we're gonna learn how to uh, cut a prefabricated ductwork and make connections for drives and slips on this side this is already cut I'm gonna make the drive and slip side on this side then put together this ductwork This particular ductwork we are buying, it already has sealant in the seam. If you turn that up and you can see it's, there is already sealant in it. So after putting it together, you don't have to really do anything on this seam. This is prefabricated ductwork we're buying off the shelf and not every ductwork comes with a sealant in it. Today we're gonna learn how to reduce the duct work and uh, there is few ways doing to do that first you can buy already pre-built piece of duct work however when you're buying this you are limited on uh, use case so this particular one you can use only for this size of duct work which is 10 by 14 you can go from 14 inch duct work to 10 inch duct work oh no this is 8 12 to 8 and you limited on it you can buy off the shelf reduce this which one you are not limited on a uh, type of duck work size of duck work you're gonna use you can use with any this one is 10 inch duck work with any 10 inch duck work you can reduce any 10 duck 10 inch duck work and this made by gray metal uh, you can buy this off the shelf or you can build your own from a straight sheet metal we're not gonna do this today because it's pretty simple you have slips and drives and you're connecting to the duck work and the other side goes to the duck work but we will learn how to install the universal transaction piece and we will learn how to build your own we're gonna install this reducer on this duck work let's say if you have a duck work this particular one is 14 by 10 the duck work you want to connect this is 18 by 10. They do sell reducers, they come in three different sizes, two inch, four inch, which this particular one, and they also have a six inch. And you can buy this off the shelf, as I said. And the idea is this piece should be going right there and should get installed right there. You can connect to the bigger ductwork. If you do this every day, then you already know the size that you have to cut. But if you're doing this first time, the easiest way to measure it, to imagine this piece will be here and match these lines to have a straight line right here. It should come out here and make a mark right where this slip ends. In our case, it is right here. Then we have to remove this piece and install this piece right there. looks when it's installed we basically do the transaction from 16 inch to 20 inch dark work this connection should be masticed or taped she's ready to go on this side today we're gonna build our own let's say you don't have one or you don't want to buy one you can build your own which we're gonna do on this side from that piece of sheet metal
side we have not a bit, just increased <laughs> the size of the ductwork for 4 inch which was prefabricated piece on this side we made the same thing however we reduced or increased 2 inches it's really depending on your manual D how you are gonna reduce your ductwork there is cases when you're reducing 2 inch there is cases when you're reducing 4 inch and there is cases when you're reducing 6 inch even we had cases when we had to reduce to 6 inch however with this piece you can buy them prefabricated fabricated for two four and six inch this one you are unlimited you can do whatever you want because you're building on site and pretty much it plastic or tape whatever you comfortable with as long as it's sealed because on these corners you have pretty big holes you have to seal that there is cases when you have a duct work which is this one just to show how it's done purposes this is pretty short duct work but there is cases when you have duct work already you put together and however you have to cut that uh, somewhere in the middle or whatever you need the other piece also there, there is i've seen guys cutting it with a grinder or so so however there is a better way doing it and i'm gonna just show you let's imagine we're gonna cut somewhere here please note that you will lose about one inch on your duct work the duct work we're buying it comes 16 inch long five foot piece when you're cutting it and you're keeping the piece that <coughs> let's say you need a 25 inch piece and the rest that 35 inch piece you also need but you already put the ductwork together some of them is really hard to take a part back because this particular one have a sealant in it and good luck taking it out it's possible but it, it takes a long time and it's dangerous to do it, it's, it is nightmare let's say you have to cut piece which is you need that 25 but also you need that 35 you will lose one inch so you will get only 30 four however uh, you can do that using two snips green handle red handle ones and that's all you need uh, some heavy duty snips with really short tip this one made by Wyss this is Midwest I like them I'm gonna show you how it's done First you mark where need you cut, let's say you will need this piece, whatever length is it, this piece also you will need. And the way I am doing it, I'm just laying a piece of sleep or dry on it and marking on both sides. And this, uh, you're getting about inch and an eight in between and that's more than you need to make your cut. 